Hey guys, we have exciting news this week. The Pensacola Triathlon is the second uh, Pensacola uh, edition of the race. Third. La- is it third? Third. Yep. Yeah. Are you serious? Three yeah. years. Oh my God. Happens so fast. Time flies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> last year was not the first year? No. Mm-mm. Last okay. year was the perfect weather year. We wanted last year to be the first year, but the first year the weather was really rough. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, yeah. it's so we're the third right, year. Hopefully getting the so, weather right this year. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be. Right? Oh, yeah. So, it's the third annual Pensacola Triathlon. There's an Olympic distance and there's a sprint distance. Is that correct? That's right. right. Okay. And um, I hope you already signed up. If you're not, you can, right, or not? You can still sign up. Oh, yeah. You can go to um, www.tripensacola.com. That's right. Or you can swing by uh, Running Wild on Saturday. Where do the times fall? Uh, Noon to 5. Noon to 5. And register right there. We still have spots available for both the sprint and the Olympic. All right. Mm -hmm. Now tell everybody the course because it's going to affect people in Pensacola and they can eat, watch and stuff from their house maybe or... Yeah. Co- well, we're actually excited. We're probably going to be, I think, the first event going off Bruce Beach. That's um, correct. That's, um, that's right. right. We got brand new swim start. Um, great sandy beach out there. The city of Pensacola is an amazing job getting that together. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have our swim start to finish right there at Bruce Beach. That's the beach that's right next to Nick's Boathouse. So we won't have the rocks coming up that we did last year. Yeah, last year we had to cl- climb over the rocks. Yeah, to get to, yeah. a little bit. A little bit. That's right. Yeah. Um, we will have a little warm-up swim in between the swim exit and transition, so that'll be about a third of a mile swim. Okay. And then run, third run. of a mile run from the swim exit to the transition area. Okay. It's only a third of a mile. Okay. And then from there we do the bike course. And yeah, and the, and the bike course is great. It's, it's one of the few urban bike courses in the country for international distance triathlon. And it basically takes you from the Maritime Park up to Cervantes, and we've got two dedicated lanes for cyclists on Cervantes. Cervantes is four lanes all the way up to Scenic Highway, and then we'll transition to Scenic Highway and go all the way up to Langley. Um, we'll turn left on Langley. It's a little bit of a hill there, wouldn't it's you say? A, it's a hill. It's, it's, it's the only okay, hill. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's a big hill. It's right, a hill. But, it's, but you get to come down right. on the way back, right? right? And that's, that's right. for the International. The Sprint turns around That's right. The that. Sprint turns around before Summit, so um, not that far. Right. Um, so Langley up to Spanish Trail, Spanish down to Jerry May Garden, the road that goes around uh, along the airport, over to Summit. And again, we have a dedicated lane on Summit for you. Summit takes you out to Tippin, um, and then you do a U-turn there, basically, and you come back the same way. Fantastic. It's a great, great course. And then the run goes from... The run actually comes out of Maritime Park, goes right by the offices of Joe Zarzar. We'll right. have a water station yeah. right there. Yeah. It's a great double loop run. So it's a 5K, and the way the run's set up is you'll see people all the time. So you'll never be out there by yourself. You'll be passing people left and right, head on, cheering them on. There's tons of people watching, too, last year. There was yes. tons of people in the spectators. That's, that's how we set it up. We wanted to make it not just an athlete-friendly course, but also a spectator-friendly course. Right. That's right. Because that's, that's what, you know, you're running. You want to be cheered on. And if you're coming from out of town, you can see your participant run and then make it to the finish line just in time. So you can see them get out of the swim, get on the bike, and then go do the run, and then see the finish line. So it's really is a great... Is that this year's shirt? Or? This is last year's shirt. Okay, all right, all right. And you don't have this year's yet? Well, we're, we're getting... Still, they're right they're still okay. on the presses. Okay, so they're going to have shirts. What, do, what, do they, what else do they get? Any other swag? Well, we have the shirts. We got, you know, with all triathlons, they're going to have your bike number, your bike bib, all your stickers on there that you can take off. Um, also, every finisher is going to get our world-class finisher medal, Pensacola Triathlon awesome. finisher medal. Our third year, we like to go with the red, white, and blue theme because we are a military right. institute down here, and um, that's, that's our colors that we're going with. And then from there, we'll have a great post-race party after the fact. And um, we also, with this year, we're teamed up with the Crawfish Festival. Oh, and right. um, and yep. all participants will be able to get into the Crawfish Festival for free. Well, with that's their smart. So it's kind of nice. So much is going on in Pensacola. It's great to be able to work with other groups and just, just make all the events work at one time. Fantastic. So. All right, we're going to put the website for the triathlon down underneath here, uh, PensacolaTri.com right or org? TriPensacola.com. Oh, TriPensacola.com. All right, very good. I'm full of information today. It's just <laughs> good erroneous. information. Erroneous, but... That was a big word. Yes, thank you. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all Sunday, right? See you Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Got Sunday. that right. Sunday morning. Bye. Take care.